We are currently at our Graham Winham Adoption Celebration. And this is just a way of celebrating them and saying thank you for everything that you do for the children. This event is celebrating families that have adopted or are in the process of adopting children in foster care. I've been with Graham since 2009. I started as a foster parent. I fostered uh, two little girls who ultimately I adopted. It's overwhelming, but it's also, I've never had that much joy in my life. We're here today where our children that we adopt already adopt five kids. This is our homes. Before I used to be a foster home, now in no more foster home, I adopt all my five kids. My daughter uh, tell me about the agency. She is starting first. And then uh, when she take me to Grand Window, they find you a lawyer. You don't have to pay nothing. Grand Window do all the paperwork. And you just have to be there with your kid. A lot of people decide to become foster parents because they have space and they have love that they could give the children that need it the most. In a perfect world, most kids would like to be reunited with their parents. However, when that's not an option, um, we have to find permanency for those kids. We approached the current foster parent to ask her if she would be willing to adopt that child if that child is not able to reunite with their birth families. When Isabel was very emotional, because Isabel was the only one they had met when she was in her mommy belly. This is Isabel when she come home. Angie's my daughter, my biological daughter, Samantha, She's the 22, Isabel, she's nine, Aliyah, Mackenzie, and Derek. I ah, have my kids. Mm -hmm. It's no different between my biological one or my adopted one. They're the same. I like when mommy like tell me what to do. Like make it to make that perfect because I know how you like things perfect. <laughs> We all need family, doesn't matter the age. We could be 20, 21, 30, 40, and we still need a family. We still need um, people to be there for us. Somebody to love them and hug them when they're um, struggling, it's very important for them to have. Grand Window is still supporting me because most of the time they call me, how you doing, Miss Miguel? How's the kid? They invited me to places. They never leave you alone. They always give you a call. I think people become a foster parent because those kids need love and they need a home. They need to be cared. They need to be loved. They need to believe. 